Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You ready for uh, start of Big East play, KJ? Uh, yeah, I'm, I think we're um, pretty prepared. Uh, we're playing a, a pretty tough Villanova team. Uh, we know they like to get out in transition. They have um, tough guards, tough um, inside play with Yaru. And uh, we, we definitely got to stop them in transition and um, stop them getting into the lane. That said, I mean, you know, they've still struggled despite all that. They, you've got a few winnable games here, at least on paper, starting Big East play. How important is it going to be to to get a couple wins here early to sort of pad your resume for down the stretch? Uh, it's definitely going to be important, uh, especially um, with us being so young, to um, increase our confidence, keep on increasing our confidence. And uh, we we had a couple um, tough losses, but it shouldn't it shouldn't uh, downplay the fact that we're. Um, that we're playing really well right now, and I think if we continue to keep on playing well, then uh, we'll be very successful. Is that the way you guys come out of the Baylor game? Did feeling like you're playing well, even though you feel like you let one get away too? Yeah, we definitely let one get away, but I think, like I said, it's a, it's a learning experience, and uh, we got to keep on getting better from that. But uh, at the same time, the effort was great, and if we have that same effort, I doubt it's um, many games that we'll, that we'll lose. Kevin, earlier in the season, Coach Hogan said, you know, the difference between the team now and come Big East tournament is going to be night and day. Do you feel like it already is kind of that, that they've made this team, you know, the younger guys have made progression maybe sooner than you thought that they would? Yeah, they definitely made huge strides. I mean, we're still not where we want to be as a team yet, but they're definitely making strides, and the effort is definitely better than um, it was earlier in the season. So um, coaches, Coach really tries to um, get our guys to play with a lot of effort. So once they do that, at the um, other parts are pretty easy. Is it encouraging or discouraging to see that you know a lot of the younger guys they'll have a good game and then a pretty bad one? I mean, is is it good to know that maybe when they all put it together, you guys could be pretty tough? Yeah, I mean, uh, you, I mean, you expect a, a little inconsistency in the beginning of the season. It's, it still really is the beginning of the season. Um, it, it's not halfway through the um, season yet, and uh, you're gonna have games like that. But we we definitely need at least out of the all the freshmen at least three, at least three to to play. Um, Okay, so for us to, to be good. Uh, that meant a lot. I, I'm, I know he's, he's very talented, and I wasn't surprised um, what he did once he was on the court. The, the whole thing is getting him on the court and make sure he's um, earning coaches' trust, and, and that's the whole thing with Dom. He, the talent is there. It's just about getting him on the court. You earn the coaches' trust by not making mistakes, I guess. Yeah, I mean, on not making mistakes and just just playing hard as hard as you can, even if you make a mistake, to just go out and um, just get it back on defense or, or, or something like that. So you you earn his um, respect by going out there and playing hard every minute you're out there. That sort of seems like that's what he's done. I mean, even when he gets yanked pretty quickly, I mean, he's playing as tough as as hard as he can. But coach says he can't really keep him in because he doesn't really know the sets. He doesn't know the defense. Can, uh, you know, just athletic ability overcome that at times? Uh, like I said, with Dom, it's just all about getting him on the court. You know the effort is going to be there and the talent level is going to be there. It's all about the little things like um, coming in and um, learning the plays. I mean, um, because we're going to definitely need him, especially with um, Turk and his um, injury. And uh, we, we're definitely going to need him to play more minutes than maybe he would have if Turk was 100%. So we, we're definitely going to need him to come in and uh, learn the plays and just um, be focused. And uh, at some times, Dom loses focus. But uh, once he's on the court, I know he'll do good. Kevin, you Wayne did last year against you guys. He was able to penetrate a lot of cheeks the same kind of way. You know how big and tough Yaru is. But when you look at that seven and five record, what's the dangers there? Because you know they're probably more talented. Yeah, it's it's, I mean, it's a tricky record, and they had a couple games uh, where they were up that I think they blew, and uh, they could easily have our same record. So we, we definitely can't underestimate them, and uh, we have to go there and, and play with the same intensity that we've been playing with, and I think we can find. Is that something to talk about with? The yeah. young guys, because they'll see that seven and five. Yeah. And I mean, co coaches definitely talked about it. All the coaches, they said, don't don't take the record for granted. And, and it's a whole new season, Big East season. And anybody can beat anybody in the Big East if you don't come out and play. So the main um, thing for us is just coming out and competing every night. You know, it's one thing, you know, you know I, I mean, I've seen it, you've seen it. Big anyone in the Big East. Is it? A hard thing to grasp, though. I mean, you have to go through it a few times before you actually really learn that. Yeah, you definitely have to experience it. Uh, it's, it's easier said than done when um, nobody, when freshmen really haven't been through anything yet. And uh, it's, it's, it's hard. It's tough. It's grueling. It's a grind. And uh, I think we'll get through it. And like I said, it's, it's all about effort.
you know the quality of this league. You've been through it, obviously, three times. And to go into Big East play as the league leader in scoring and rebounding, does that tell you even more than you already knew about how, how well you're playing at this point? Yeah, I, I'm not trying not to focus on um, that as much as um, getting wins for um, me and my team. All that stuff is secondary. And, uh, I mean, I, I want to keep on playing well for my teammates in order for us to be successful. But uh, I, I just look at, at those accomplish, accomplishments as um, – a tribute to my teammates. I mean, they've been finding me in open spots. They um, had a lot of faith in me. So uh, I just wanted to come through for them. Is that something that comes with, you know, the graduation of all the guys last year? There were maybe more people to bring that production. Now it, it, a lot more of it's on your shoulders. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was kind of like that last year, except for um, my shots have falling more this year than they were last year. And I have a, a whole different um, kind of confidence coming in this year, which I have to have with so many young guys here. And uh, I just, I just, like I said, I just want to keep on playing well for my teammates.